Counter-Strike 2, the first-person shooter from Valve, switched to Wayland for one day. This is, this is a real story, and it's ridiculous. The developers of Counter-Strike 2 moved the, uh, the SDL video driver over to Wayland, so meaning it would use Wayland for its, for its uh, uh, desktop compositor, and it went so badly that they switched back to using X11 when on Linux f after just one day. <laughs> So now, so now, people who are playing Counter Strike Two are now back to using X11. If you if you are playing Counter Strike Two, and you're using Wayland, that means you're using the uh, the the X Wayland or whatever uh, uh, compatibility layer, so you can run you know X11 applications uh, on top of Wayland because they because the the display drivers and everything else for Wayland it just caused too many issues uh here's a here's a screenshot uh uh from this uh, of the the linux sdl driver for uh for counter-strike 2 uh there is wayland support in sdl but a recent attempt at allowing sdl to default to wayland caused a number of customer issues so to keep the so uh so keep the default x x11 for now don't override any user settings so people can easily use wayland if they want so you can, you can use Wayland if you want to, it just causes a lot of problems. Now, um, okay, this is not, I don't bring this up to just dunk on Wayland. That's not, that's not, <laughs> that's fun too. That's not what, what I'm here for. What I would like to point out and uh, is, is the response from the Wayland community to this happening. As soon as the Wayland advocates of the world saw this happening, they immediately and in unison declared, oh, Oh, well, now people like like Lunduke are going to be out there dogging on Wayland because of this. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately they started doing that. And then almost before they took a second breath, they, they pivoted to blaming the developers of Counter-Strike 2 because they just don't understand Wayland or they're using Wayland wrong. They don't know. They don't know. Wayland works good. It's perfect. <laughs> and the, the funny thing is, is that response, those responses from Wayland advocates, Wayland developers uh, and the like is so consistent. It's just consistently been how they approach this. Um, uh, recently, uh, a developer of uh, KiCad, a a Linux-based uh, computer-aided drafting uh, package uh, for for Linux, came out and published an article, actually a series of a couple articles, detailing from a technical perspective and a usability perspective why his CAD software hasn't moved over to Wayland, why it still uses X11. And it's it ranges from uh, just some, some technical implementation issues all the way over to um, distinct usability problems that would occur if his software was, was even potentially heavily rewritten to use Wayland instead, because there was just, it, Wayland is so fundamentally different than uh Say, then say X11, that it just it causes some problems. It causes some significant problems. And and there's a lot that Wayland just fails to implement. Now, when, when the developer of the CAD software came out and wrote those articles, he experienced a very similar round of attacks on him that, that the Counter-Strike 2 developers saw. Oh, well, the, this CAD software developer, he just doesn't understand Wayland. He doesn't know. He's, psh, oh, psh, he doesn't know. Wayland is perfect. <laughs> and what's funny is if you look through like the developer mailing lists for Wayland and the like, you will find numerous prominent Wayland developers, including many of whom who work at Red Hat, because Red Hat is the number one pusher of Wayland, without question. Um, and, and then the primary uh, driving force behind the free desktop organization where Wayland sits and where Xorg sits as well. But you'll see a number of the Wayland developers actively talking about how, and literally they'll say phrases like, Wayland is perfect. The, if they if they will say repeatedly, if there are bugs in software under Wayland, 
for applications or games when they run under Wayland as opposed to X. Well, that's not a Wayland bug. That's an application bug, right? That's the developer of that game's fault because they can't make it work right under Wayland because Wayland is perfect. <laughs> and it's an, it's, it's an almost religious fanaticism where they can't, where Waylon can do no wrong. It's like you're going up to them, pointing to their Bible and saying, I'm noticing a few flaws over there. No, this is perfect. Every letter, every word, you're wrong. It's religious. It's not a technical, it's not, it's not technical uh, uh, support of a piece of software or a protocol. They're really just... Uh, have a religious fanaticism about Wayland. And they do this over and over and over again, where they will attack anything that seems like it would present Wayland poorly. Now, here's the thing. Here's my personal view. I have no issue with Wayland. I really don't. I find the Wayland advocates and the Wayland zealots and the the true believers and some of the Wayland developers, I find their attitude of of Wayland is perfect. Uh, anyone who has a problem in Wayland or experiences bugs or issues, that's their fault because Wayland can do no wrong. It's perfect. I find that hilarious and crazy. Like it's crazy. That is a crazy stance for for a, for a software engineer to take. It just is. It just absolutely is. And so I find that nuts. Now I've used a number of desktop environments and and window manager packages under Wayland and had pretty good experiences. Realistically, I mean, I've seen many pieces of software run extraordinarily well under Wayland. I see some value in the design of Wayland. I mean, if we're just looking at this from an engineering perspective, that is true. On the flip side, Wayland very clearly is lacking functionality that many people want, but they can get in, say, an X11 uh, X server like X Libre or even Xorg. Uh, an interesting example is um, uh, the the developer of X screensavers has been working to try and get X screensavers, which is a, a screensaver collection and framework that's been around for years. He's been working to get X screensavers working under Wayland and just keeps hitting roadblock after roadblock, not in that he doesn't understand Wayland, though that may be part of it, but that he keeps hitting issues where certain things simply aren't doable in Wayland, certain types of functionality, uh, 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 doing full screen screen grabs under Wayland and whatnot, things like that just aren't, aren't quite doable, at least not in a way that would be usable in the form for a screensaver. A lot of people have had these same sorts of issues when uh, when doing some, you know, real-time desktop compositing and OBS and those sorts of things. There are issues related to that. Uh, every time I've tried to use a, uh, a Linux distribution with Wayland as, as that desktop server there... Um, it, it doesn't work that well for me. I have problems with games. Uh, I have problems with some usability issues. I have problems with uh, with you doing screen grabs and window grabs under OBS. Uh, I've had issues with uh, some latency that I just find annoying. And yes, I, I have seen latency like when you're when you're interacting with your computer that is a little bit more under Wayland, not a lot, but enough to annoy me. Uh, there's enough things there just from a usability perspective that that I, yeah I see some issues with Wayland so I tend to say well I'd rather just use an x11 server right I, I'd rather use like right now I use x libre it works great great performance and I don't have all the issues that I normally have when I try to run under Wayland that doesn't mean Wayland's bad but it does mean that Wayland is not a good solution for me uh, and it and since the Wayland developers and Wayland advocates and the and the company that's pushing Wayland so hard, Red Hat, since they are taking the firm stance of Wayland is perfect, can do no wrong, and is not buggy. It is perfect. It has a perfect implementation. There's no problems whatsoever. That means that they're not going to be fixing 
all the things that are that are that I view as bugs. They're not going to be adding features that I view as necessary for my just average desktop usage for my desktops and laptops, right? And then and then this Counter Strike thing happens, where Counter Strike Two switched over to Wayland for their SDL video driver for one day, and it just didn't work well, right? There was just lots of problems. Now it kind of worked uh, from now I haven't been playing it, but from everything I've been hearing from multiple people who play Counter Strike 2 an awful lot is it mostly worked, but there were some problems and some people couldn't overcome some of those problems. So switching back to X11 as as non-perfect as the uh, the Counter Strike 2 apparently is under X11, it's far more usable and far more reliable uh so it just kind of makes sense but the 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 response from the wayland advocates the zealots the true believers of wayland is perfect it's the fault of the counter-strike developers it's the fault of the cad developers it's the fault of the screensaver developers it's the fault of the live streamers and the end users and the people who don't like like uh, it's just okay come on come on now now it, it, what's one thing that's worth noting here when wayland first hit the scene when Wayland first came out and was and was being developed one of the core reasons for Wayland that was given by Wayland developers at that time was that xorg was too old that the code base for xorg was just plain too old it should be noted that Wayland is now as old as xorg was then so, by Wayland's logic, since they clearly have bugs, they clearly have issues, and they believe that there's no reason to fix them because Wayland is perfect, maybe it's just time to give up on Wayland and come up with something brand new again. Might as well. <laughs> Cheesy crazy. <laughs> Uh, thank you to the Lunduke Journal subscribers for allowing me to go on this random rant right now. I truly appreciate it. Go to lunduke.com, click on a bunch of links, support the Lunduke Journal, keep it big tech free, red hat free, ad free, IBM free, woke free, and just truly, truly independent. The last bastion of truly independent tech journalism out there. And with that, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be yelled at, by the way, all, by, by the way, all day tomorrow, Wayland people are going to be yelling at me. And for some reason, I don't even know why this is going to happen, but Rust developers are going to be mad at me tomorrow, too. And I don't even know why. I'll, <laughs> nothing I've said in this, <laughs> this episode is untrue in any way. And I didn't attack Rust in any way as a programming language, uh, but Rust developers will get upset. It, it, it'll happen. It'll happen. It always happens. If I'm if I make the Wayland folks fat mad, the Rust developers get mad too. Always happens. It's entertaining, and I don't understand it, <laughs> but it's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare end broadcast.